I've been putting off making this video because it's a very complicated subject. So I'm going to give you a few sites in the description that you can look at to better understand this concept. In Pokemon, Niantic uses what's called S2 cells. They're imaginary cells across the entire planet. And they come in different levels. As you increase in number, these cells get smaller. I'll explain that a little bit more in the next slide. But I want you to know that this site right here is a really good site to read about it. And I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to go on to the next site. This is a site called pogomap.info. It's a free site. It's showing you where the gyms and the Pokestops are in Pokemon Go. However, it relies on users to add the data, so it's not very reliable. It's really out of date. I don't know if anybody even uses it anymore. This cell right here, see this kind of green outline around it, is an S14 cell in Pokemon that determines gym placement. I'll let you go back to that website for an explanation of that. These red cells within the green square here, that represents S17 cells. That's what you really need to know as a reviewer. In Pokemon, you're only allowed one point of interest per S17 cell. Only one point within here can turn into a Pokestop. Now, another site that you can go to that's really helpful, it's a video. This is a very old video, four years ago. It's where I learned about S2 cells. This is Trainer Tips. He's got over a million subscribers. If you've never heard of him, I'm completely shocked. I'll link to this in the description as well. Very beneficial, great video. All right, now onto the nuts and bolts here. I'm gonna use this screenshot to explain these rules for both Ingress and Pokemon. These right here, these green cells, they're the S17 cells. This red outline, that represents the S14 cells, and it does nothing for us as reviewers. But you see, these two points of interest are within the same S17 cell, and only one of these can be a Pokestop, and that is this one. This is a Pokestop, this is a Pokestop, this is not in Pokemon Go. Ingress has a approximately 20 meter rule. No point can be within 20 meters of each other. This outline right here represents 20 meters. If this outline intersected this or touched this orange dot, that is the point is too close and one of these points would not make it into Ingress. So like if this one was added second, this one was already here, then this outline hit this, then this point would not make it into the game. It would still be within the system. It would still show on the map. It just wouldn't be an ingress. All right, so this one right here, it was a location edit appeal. They noted to Niantic that this was a Pokestop. This was not. This right here was a nomination. It was a university sign. It qualified. And that if they could please just move the point right here, it's still on the sign, they would get a Pokestop. And here it says that their appeal was denied. And based on their research, the Pokestop gym at, was at the correct location and does not require adjustments at this time, which I thought was funny because this isn't a Pokestop. It's not even a gym. It's not in the game. So, oh well. So this is my suggestion when you're reviewing things based on your new knowledge now of the 20 meters and these S17 cells. Consider this when you're reviewing. Now, if you see somebody is nominating the sign and they have the point here and you know that the boundary is right here, move it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to get through that way. Enough reviewers have to move it for that location edit to go through. Somebody has to pick that location edit. If you watch my previous video, I looked at it with that in mind. Perhaps they were moving it to be in a different cell. Maybe they were moving it so it wouldn't be within 20 meters. So consider that. There's also plugins you can use. I don't use them. Niantic does not want you to use them. They don't want you to see where these cells are. They don't want it to interfere with how you're reviewing things. But I do highly suggest it. If you want to look it up, I'm not going to tell you where it is, but if you want to look it up, I highly suggest it. So keep these things in mind while you're reviewing and help players from both games out.